Hello, my friends. I thought you'd be interested in this. This is my HP T510 thing client here. Um, I've got, I mean, it's old. It's got a Via Eden X2. This We're talking like 300 on CPU benchmark. It's 13 years old or so. This is a 7-inch monitor I bought on Amazon that has a lot of really good connections on the bottom. I highly recommend this thing to anyone who needs a tiny monitor for something like this. And my Logitech K400. This is going to be my router, and I wanted to show you, I built a custom kernel for this, and I want to show you how much faster it is with this custom kernel. Let me just get this light turned off and have it hook up to the screen just a bit here. And the splash screen's from the TriTech service system. But, yeah, Crux old kernel, and this is the big fat kernel that I built for the TriTech service system booting up, and let's just reboot it real quick, All right. and then let me show you how much faster the custom kernel came up. I was actually shocked at how quickly this booted up compared to the other one. I mean, it, it, obviously that didn't take too long to boot to a login prompt, but this is ridiculous. Give it just a second. And this time we'll boot Crux without the old kernel. This is the custom one I built just for this low resource machine, and it's done. And that's it. It's way, way faster, <laughs> if it isn't obvious. Um, this computer is a bit of an oddity. It does have a very slow old processor. Um, obviously, being a thin client, it was meant for use as a low resource way to access a higher resource system. We've got a Via Eden X2 U4200. If you look it up on CPU Benchmark, you'll laugh. But it is new enough that if you look here, you, um, you've you got, where'd you go, where'd you go? SSE, SSSE3 and SSE 4.1. Unfortunately, not 4.2. Uh, unblur. And it does have the population count instructions, too. Um, it's got hardware encryption through via padlock and it's got all of the padlock functions. So yeah, despite being an old, slow, often laughed at CPU, it's pretty darn good. Um, it has eight gigs of RAM, and I've put a 256 gig SSD in here. This will be my router when I get the mini PCIe ethernet adapter. Now, here's the thing, okay? This, this computer, I tried to put Windows 7 on it and it loaded, but no video driver exists for 64-bit Windows 7. But you can put 8 gigs of RAM in it, and it comes with 4. So what's the deal with that? Via never shipped a 64-bit driver for the video adapter in this, the VX900 chipset. So Windows 7, you can only use with 32-bit uh, if you want any accelerated graphics at all, which is stupid. Um, so this is going to become my router instead. And, and that's basically it. This was like, I think this was like maybe 20 bucks or less on eBay. Uh, this monitor is more like 50 on Amazon, and it's been super handy since I got it. But that's my new router story. Now, you might be wondering, router, but where's the Wi-Fi? Well, the old Wi-Fi is down there on the floor beside all the snot rags, and the new Wi-Fi is this. So what I'm going to do is add an, another Ethernet adapter to this, and it'll go to the cable modem. And then, out of this, we'll go to this AX1800 here. Um, we'll actually plug it into one of the LAN ports and disable routing on this to turn it into only an access point. This will provide the higher end Wi-Fi service that I want. Um, and, I, and I did look it up. I'm not going to get much beyond this. Uh, it, it wasn't worth it to get a better router. So <clears throat> this will give me the Wi-Fi service that I want in here. Plus it also has a switch, so I'll be able to route the... Um, the various things that are coming out of that. I really need to clean that area up. Anyway, uh, aside from me being a slob, uh, this is my new solution. Here's my router, here's my wireless access point, and that solves my problem. Um, it also means that this thing, if it doesn't route fast enough, well, that's not a problem. Also, OpenWRT is not available for this, but this runs full Linux, not OpenWRT, so it'll be more up to date, it's way faster than whatever processors in that, even though it's a Via X2 whatever. Definitely has more RAM. This thing gives me a lot of options. Tunneling, that kind of stuff, between here and the office. Um, you get the idea. And finally, you might be wondering, what's this Ecolite series thing that I keep seeing? Well, that's not really relevant to this. It was just a good place to put it on the table. This is a Boss Game E2 
mini PC, something that uh, I feel like I really should probably review. This I paid $170 for, and you see it's a Ryzen 5 H series, not you. 16 gig, 512 gig. <laughs> this is pretty. It's a pretty good little box, and very cheap. You can actually play Subnautic on this thing. This is for a customer. This is irrelevant, but it wouldn't be the worst choice in the world if I just got an Ethernet adapter for it. But this was twenty bucks. An Ethernet adapter is twenty bucks, and this was uh, I want to say like seventy. Um, so yeah, hundred ten dollars, and I have a full Linux router and. Um, AX1800, which really, I think, is just like 3 or 4x4 four four Mimo, whatever. All right, that's uh, enough about my nerdiness. I shall see you guys the next time I have something cool to show you. I hope you've appreciated this. Let me know what you think about this setup in the comments. Tell me how stupid I am for using something with no USB 3 ports that I'll never need to use the USB 3 ports on. Take care.